Hi everyone, welcome to Dataverse Academy. In this video, we will learn about OLTP and OLAP system. So let's start with the operational system. The company runs multiple operations, accounting, sales, project management, CRM, which process and store thousands, even millions of transactions every day. We mainly refer these systems as online transactional processing systems. For example, each purchase you made with your credit card or withdraw money from an ATM or each click in a website would be stored as a new transaction in the database. While these databases have traditionally been relational such as SQL Server or Oracle or DB in recent times, non-relational databases Cassandra, MongoDB or file systems like Hadoop has been adopted as an alternative for storing raw data. So main purpose of transactional system is to store day-to-day -day business transaction and minimize the locking. Simply define fast insert and update is the main focus of OLTP systems. It is not the place for complex queries or reporting data. It is well suited for query specific records or creating simple queries in order to avoid or put additional burden to source system and prevent parallel processing. Other challenge we may have encountered is very often OLTP systems are separately owned by different departments or even outsourced and each of them are designed to perform different operations, tasks and usually do not share or exchange data. And sooner or later it became somebody's job to manually query operational systems and consolidating data into spreadsheet reports. But consolidating data is not the easy task when we consider that different departments have different terminologies mean many different things to different parts of the business. For example, whereas individual contact will be considered as customer for finance department for marketing it will be different. Even the organization will be under the same term once it becomes clear that this approach manual consolidation is vulnerable to hands-on mistakes and also do not auditable and cause discrepancies in different system. Companies started to look for an enterprise solution that provide a single point of truth in a historical way. Which brings us to data warehouse solution. A data warehouse is commonly known as online analytical processing system. Here the data is extracted from one or more operational systems, transformed into a suitable format and loaded into the data warehouse to enable data analysis and reporting for decision making. This storage is structured such as users from many divisions or department within an organization can access and analyze the data according to their needs. When we look at the middle layer, extract, transform and load whatever the technology, tooling or method behind it. ETL refers to an integration process that moves data around potentially altering its format or content. The methodology transform source data to feed data model which you describe for a data warehouse. And why do we need a data warehouse? The structure of a data warehouse is more accessible for end user to navigate, understand and query. Since these people are not technical, the data may be presented to them in an elementary form. It is also helps them to understand business trends and make better strategic decisions. As we discussed earlier, whereas operational system focus was on more transaction level questions, such as if this particular customer has paid their bill or whether this particular car has been bought on that particular day. Data warehouse are more interested in trends, strategy and performance. For example, what is the revenue rate of company in compared to last year? Which product are on the market 
demand and what is the penetration rate or churn ratio so these are all critical question that each business need to identify but we are also need historical analysis and reporting so data warehouses usually store many months or years of data and provide historical reporting platform and the other challenge is data integrity when multiple people ask the same question using the same data get varying answer it creates doubt in all of the data in your organization do data warehouse is targeting to bring the data from different sources at a common place in order to ensure that everyone in an organization based business decision on the same data and it also increases data consistency and quality adding data sources to a data warehouse enables organization to ensure that they are collecting consistent and relevant data from that source they don't need to wonder whether the data will be accessible or inconsistent it comes into the system it also help end user to get faster decision when data in a data warehouse in such a consistent format data is ready to analyze decision makers are no longer need to be challenged with incomplete or poor quality data and risk delivery slow and inaccurate result so you see that all these points are giving us an idea about why do we need a data warehouse in our consumption platform and what is the data warehouse architecture let's go through this diagram and we are going to dive into in different layers of data warehouse start on left side we have source layer where original data stands based on different and internal and external operation such as erp crm sales marketing and so on the data source can be any format of text file relational databases or any other type of databases so subsequently we have extract transform and load process shortly etl which extract data from various sources bring them into staging area and applied a second set of processes to prepare the data and load it into the data warehouse the essential steps of etl processes are it gets the data from source location validate and clean it and apply transformation rules that are required before the data sets are loaded into repository and finally map the data from staging area to its target and load the data into the warehouse but what is the role of staging area here so staging area is an intermediate storage area used for data processing during the extract transform load operations it reside between the data sources and data targets which are often data warehouse data marts or data repository we basically need a staging area to hold the data in a temporary tables to perform data cleaning and merging before loading the data into warehouse the staging area consist of one to one copies of tables from the source systems the reason behind is we don't want to disturb operational systems that are already functioning therefore we copy the relevant information and put it into the staging area when the data temporarily stored in the staging area it will be clean transformed by etl operation so let's take a simple example source data comes in many different formats and there's a need to validate or ensure if the format transform to expected structure before we load into the data warehouse for example in one system number of customers including first name and last name might be stored all in one column and in other sources we have name surname title in all separate fields or currency information will be found in one system and might be dollar in other system so we need to transform these different format 
into a single structure through the integration layer in order to have a standard format and single point of truth in data warehouse and after these processes are complete the process will be transformed to the relevant target database in order to be used accordingly and the next storage layer after that data is clear transformed and prepared with definite structure it will be stored in the data warehouse as well as data marts depends upon the approach of the architecture but in which case we need the data mart or how it is different from the data warehouse when data warehouse hold an integrate data from across an organization a data mart is a smaller subset of data specialized for the use of a given department or division often data marts are built and controlled by single department or business unit like finance marketing or sales and data marts typically hold just one subject area more focus and may contain summaries of data because they are smaller and more specific they are often easier to manage and maintain as well as having more flexible structures we have data marts which are subset of data warehouses by this way people don't mess with each other's data and in this case sales manager is not going to be interested in what the finance director is interested so that keeps their query separate it makes it simpler when there are fewer options for each decision maker to look and therefore less chance of them getting lost other big advantage is that one of them comes with a problem or a question we are going to solve this problem on a smaller set of data so it is going to be quicker and easier to handle so the last one is presentation layer only the presentation layer is where users interact with the clean and organize the data queries and reporting tools are occurred on this layer and which are used by business user to get several kind of information right now we have an overall understanding about oltp systems and data warehouses so what is the basic difference between oltp system and data warehouses performance of oltp systems are counted by first insert and update but for the data warehouses retrieving the data quickly is the main objective locking must be minimized in the oltp system but for the data warehouses it is not an issue and in oltp system we are able to answer some simple questions with small sets of data like what is the invoice number of a specific customer or organization but data warehouses are focused on large sets of data with complicated queries that shows trends strategy performance whereas the oltp system are based on normalized data models the oltp systems are based on normalized data models and data warehouses was built on the denormalized data structure data warehouses is a historical data storage layer which is one of the most significant prerequisites for each reporting platform and user profiles for data warehouses are c level employees or analysts or report owners and on the other hand oltp systems are queried by clerk cashier or employees which need to check specific record or transaction that's it in this video in the next video we will learn about normalization thank you for watching this video